Hey guys, Dave the NC Picker here, and I'm here to tell you all the things that don't work on eBay. I thought maybe I had outsmarted eBay, <laughs> and I was wrong. I definitely did not outsmart eBay, and they're yet again punishing me and removing my listings. And I know you're gonna think to yourself, you're gonna say, Dave, you just dealt with this like yesterday in your video. Not really yesterday, but the last time you did a video. How are you already having issues again, getting more items delisted? <sighs> well, I did. I managed and I'm really proud of myself because this might be a world record most items delisted in two weeks ever eBay is on a rampage they're attacking me <laughs> everyone didn't like my conspiracy theory that it was specifically eBay out to get me so fine but they certainly are out to get anyone selling any sort of like over-the-counter or lotions or things like that because that is what they keep attacking is those listings and they've done it again it's so frustrating why can't my internet connect uh, connect. Anyways, though, we did sell some stuff. We have a handful of orders. I don't know how many. I guess I could tell you. That would make... That's what Kevin would do. He'd tell you how many orders he had. Um, I just ate some chili. It was pretty good. 15 orders. 15 items waiting to be shipped out. I don't think it's 15 orders, but it's 15 items waiting to be shipped out. Two more items delisted and a partridge in a pear tree. I did want to update you. I found the stuff I couldn't find in my last order pull video. That Stagecoach DVD was actually right here in FL70, I believe, underneath a bunch of uh, books. I have all these old books in this bin and it was underneath it. So that's where it was hiding. And uh, my boss keeps calling me and it's like almost six o'clock at night and I just signed off and I kind of just want to, you know, do my eBay thing and <laughs> not my day job. But we'll see if he calls again. Hopefully he doesn't. We did sell a CD at a SD3, which is these little things over here. And it is Prince. Uh, the CD is Prince. The new power generation. Oh, cool. It's like a holograph kind of thing. Sold that for $3.99 plus shipping. Anyway, so the item. Well, hold on. Let's let's pull Dez. This is Dez, one of our viewers. She ordered some stuff. Thank you, Dez. Let's pull her whole order. And then I'm going to tell you kind of what got pulled and what I had tried to do to trick eBay and how I failed miserably because that's exactly what happened. I was trying to kind of beat out the eBay system, basically being a little naughty. And uh, <laughs> eBay did not fall for it. They yeah, I called me out pretty much the next day. Uh, actually, literally the next day. I'm looking for a set of five CDs, which does not seem... Oh, maybe it's five. You know what? I can't find it. It's so typical for me that I just can't find anything when I pull my eBay orders. Des, I don't know. <sighs> this is... Okay, so this is a set of five movie soundtrack CDs. Sleepless in Seattle. Crooklyn, Reality Bites, etc. Listed for $6.39 for five CDs, which is like a little over a dollar a piece. And I can tell from the table the picture is on that I took this picture and listed this a very long time ago. And when I instantly look into FL5, it is not in there. And I honestly don't even remember putting it in there when we you know, reorganized everything when I first moved down to Florida. So I'm concerned that I won't be able to find that. I will do my very best to try to find it, Des. I will let you know if I do. Uh, hopefully I can. I can't believe that. I was so excited last time that I actually found everything that I had lost. All the stuff I had lost, I had found. And so now, of course, we have to start off this episode right away with more items I can't find that I sold on eBay. Oh, should I fill you in? You should know this, but if not, I sell stuff on eBay or Mercari. Which, by the way, I recently sold something on Mercari, and it arrived to the customer, which is a good thing. But Mercari won't give me my money until, <laughs> that's so stupid, until I review the purchase, right? Like, I have to go in there and I have to review the buyer before they pay me my money. Like, they're holding the funds until I do that. But when I did that Mercari sale, that it was a set of Band in America DVDs. It was like a Faces of Death kind of thing. And I had accidentally listed it on a brand new Mercari account because I just logged in with the wrong email and it was like this whole new Mercari account. Now I can't get into that Mercari account because I can't remember the password and I tried so many times that I locked it out. And so now I have to try to reset the password. I think I can manage it. It's just an annoyance. Uh, so I can't get that money from those sales until I get back into that account. But anyways, I sold Reba McIntyre, brand new sealed, greatest hits, $5.59 plus shipping. I will say my buddy Brandon from CVA Thrifts was on my last video and we had talked about hey maybe we can get him up to a thousand subscribers because he was only at like 890 and you guys certainly came in in a big way 
You got them up to, I mean, I don't even know. Let me check. This is, uh, what, a day and a half after I released that? All right, total lost, lost my train of thought. Totally lost my train of thought because my boss called me and then someone else called me. Brandon actually called me, he's at Disney and he was asking me, ow, sorry. He was asking me questions about which lines are worth waiting in at Hollywood Studios and we were, I was weighing in on that and then I got distracted. But I sold this, this is George Strait, clear blue sky, blue clear sky? Which one is it? Blue clear sky. 359 and then Monster Madness audio CD for $4. Like I said, I did sell those soundtracks as well for six bucks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find them, but I am gonna go hunting. A lot of times when I go hunting, I find stuff, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so all this stuff, if you guys are brand new here, buy stuff at yard sales, garage sales, people, thrift stores sometimes, not often, and then I sell them on eBay. And that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling my eBay orders. I'm only providing context because I'm also uploading these videos to Facebook now, and some people there might not have any clue what's going on. So I'm trying to help them understand what in the world is happening on their screen right now. So we sold something out of FL5. It's Bruce Roberts audio book of some sort and then after I pull this I'm gonna tell you and show you what happened with the whole eBay nonsense uh, it's very exhausting yeah I think this is uh, that's not Bruce Roberts that's the third gate it's one of these audiobooks I only see two in here I see radiant angel maybe the the narrator is Bruce Roberts <sighs> I, it looked like this Oop, falling backwards okay let me take a look here. I think it's this. The Third Gate by Lincoln Child. Yes, The Third Gate by Lincoln Child. This was sold $3.99, it's an audiobook. It's eight CD set. Man, I remember I used to pay like $80 for one of these. I'd save up to buy another audiobook like the Harry Potter ones. And now they're $4 for a whole audio CD. Pretty crazy world. All right, so let me see if I can find this. I was just looking at it. Uh, let me see if I, all right, so first of all, a couple of you guys yesterday messaged me and you said, hey Dave, this item expires on this day, right? I feel like I have to go back further. So let me go back a little bit further. Bear with me if you've been really keeping up with me. But basically what happened is eBay took down some listings because of expired items. A good example is these cough drops. They said these are expired. They removed them, said you can't list expired items. They've been listed for like months and they decided to take them down finally. Then they did it again with some Avon lotion that had been listed for over a year. And now, and then there was one, one other item, I can't remember. But basically it was like the third and final warning, right? They said, oh no, the other one was the Cheerios, which was food, not RX. So they're calling this over-the-counter drugs and RX which I think is kind of silly, but that's what they're saying. I guess they're kind of like that. Now Brandon's calling me again, hold on. Ah, okay, sorry, I just can't seem to uh, focus on recording today, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm trying to find this item, hold on. Let me look up, item has been listed, item isn't following policy, so this is one of the times they yelled at me. This isn't the right item, okay? There's basically, yesterday a bunch of you were messaging me and saying, Dave, <laughs> this item expires, you know, March 2022, 2023, right? Stuff that hadn't expired yet, but that would expire soon, right? Because you guys were looking out for me, right? I've had these two warnings from eBay. If I list another thing that's expired, then eBay says, Dave, we're gonna take away, we're gonna suspend your account at least and maybe more. And so you guys are trying to help make sure I didn't get banned for life. So you're sending me all these things and I'm going in and I'm like, should I just delist everything that's got a date? Cause what if I forget about it and it doesn't sell? Like I'm not the kind of person who's gonna be monitoring this stuff. This sold, Lion's Mane Mushroom Brain Booster. Uh, sold for $7.99, and I don't even know if this one has an expiration date. It does not. So I'm surprised I didn't get in trouble for this one either. But anyways, so I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, so some of this stuff is expiring next month, the month after. I'm not going to remember to take it all down, so what if I just remove the expiration date? <laughs> like, I just, won't, I just won't list the expiration date. I won't put it on there, and then, you know, eBay won't know whether or not it's expired. And this is kind of like me tricking eBay, and, you know, they can't get on on me anymore but of course I do that so yesterday you guys are sending me these and I'm like all right I'm just gonna remove the expiration date make my life easier and that way you know eBay won't know whether or not they're expired and a lot of them weren't expired actually none of them were expired and the ones that were about to expire were the ones I was really concerned about so one of them didn't even expire until 424 it was a probiotic a keto probiotic and it expires 424 and so I took off the expiration date even though I had a year left I was like I don't want to deal with it I'm just taking off the expiration date well today I got a warning and a violation from eBay again and they've removed more of my listings including that probiotic because they did didn't list an expiration date, so in case you were wanting to try that hack, it doesn't work. 
eBay somehow is watching my store like a hawk. I almost feel like they're watching my YouTube videos or something. They are like instantly spotting my malfeasance and punishing me as best they can. Now, two things. First of all, I sold this Midwest Center, the solution. I have no idea what it is. Quick fix CD, five day emotional makeover for controlling stress and worry. $8.80 on that. So not much, but it is brand new sealed. So I picked it up. I didn't pay much. I sold so many CDs today. It's really weird how many CDs I sold. Here's the good news. The good news is they did not ban me or anything. I think it's because it was a different kind of infraction that they like again sent me a warning, but it's like a new type of infraction. It's still violating their RX over-the-counter drug policy, but this time it was specifically for having no expiration date list listed as opposed to having an expired product. So I think if it had been an expired product, then they would have suspended me. But the fact that it wasn't, they weren't sure if it was expired means that they just slapped my wrist. Back of my hand, I don't know, what do they slap? They slap something. Okay, so this is the next CD I sold, Irish House Party. I'm a CD salesman now, $6.40. This is just traditional Irish music, I guess. And went to Carol who said, love your video. So Carol is a viewer and Carol bought two more items. One of them out of FL5 that I've already seen. So I know it's gonna be in there because I was looking in there for those other CDs and didn't find them. It's this like big box version of Jim Croce. Croce? Croce? Croce might be the right way to say that. His greatest hits. Sold that for $7.19. And then she bought a third CD out of FL8. U2. U2. Not YouTube, U2. So yeah, anyways, I think, you know, I think it's kind of helpful for you guys to see what not to do. I think there is some value that I'm adding to this, uh, segment in showing you what not to do, what not to do, what you can't get away with. <laughs> I wasn't really trying to be tricky. I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. The last thing I wanted was another expired product. So I just took off the dates. Bad idea. Joshua Tree U2 is the third CD she bought and that was $3.99 plus shipping. Okay, so I'm back to being terrible at shipping my orders on my big ncflipper.com but I do plan on shipping them tonight. Someone bought a NC Picker sticker, like the big one that I sell. Hold on, I'll grab it. This one here, it's like a three by three NC Picker sticker that someone bought. And then someone also bought a t-shirt, a large, a large NC Picker t-shirt sold as well on the Big Cartel and a piggy sticker. I have a bunch of piggy stickers. I wanna get some more NC piggies at some point. I think, you know, several people have been asking me when I was gonna get more. So at some point I will. I do still have the stickers. This is what's old, to list or nap, that is a question. And that's a nice little NC Picker piggy sticker. But I think I told you, I'm trying to find bigger piggies. I, I love my NC piggies that are out there in the wild, but I'd love to have some bigger ones uh, because I like big plushes. I mean, I do still have my NC piggy sitting on my death pile shelf here, protecting my death pile, making sure I don't accidentally list any of it. <laughs> I was talking about that in the podcast, how like I have so much death pile. If I was to ever lose my job, I could just start listing and list nonstop for like three months and still have inventory to list. So yeah, you know, down economy, eh, no biggie. I'm ready for it. I've got my death pile to protect me. <laughs> Anyways, FL117, we've got some sales. This is a newly listed box full of Funko Pops. And I believe Goku sold, I think. Uh, let me check, is that what he bought? Yeah, Goku driving. It's like a driving Goku, he's got a steering wheel. This is uh, from Summer Convention, limited edition 2022. Sold that for $17.59 plus shipping, $17.59. Okay, and that went to Jessica, and Jessica actually also bought another Dragon Ball Z. And everyone laughs at me when I try to say this name, so I don't even know if I should try. It's like Piccolo or Piccolo? Pico, Piccolo? I'm trying to find it without damaging these boxes. People are very picky about their Funko boxes, so I'm trying to be super duper careful with them. I pack them nice and safely, so we should be good. Okay, here's Piccolo. Also a driving one. Interesting. This one's an FYE exclusive. Apparently there's a lot of driving in this TV show. I've never seen it, but I guess I like to drive. It's probably, it's probably a show all about driving would be my guess. Just a driving simulator type show. Those both went to Jessica. Hey Dave, wanted to say thanks for all the great content you put out. I really enjoy watching your videos because you seem really down to earth. Keep up the great work. Well, you know, I think I am that if nothing else. <laughs> down to earth is a good description. Speaking of down to earth, let me show you my huge mess in my office right now. So we had company with Brandon and his wife here and her their kids and then um 
His sister-in-law was already always also here. So my daughters ended up sleeping up in my office. And it's still kind of a mess because even though Brandon's at Disney now, he's coming back in a day and a half. <laughs> Wait till you see this mess. So this was Anna's bed while they were here. She's back in her room now because they're at Disney. Like she went into the closet and just everything's a mess. Stuff has fallen over. And then Callie had her bed on this side of the green screen. This was where her bed was all set up. But I moved it because I was doing day job stuff. This is where I work too for my day job so this is my office guys how's that for down to earth this is the way I'm I'm living right now in my office kind of ridiculous it'll be clean once the company leaves but for now it's gonna be messy oh I'm up here for a reason <laughs> I did come up here for a reason I came here to pull an order I think it's this little guy this little uh what are they called ah oh, it's gonna bother me <clears throat> well it's a japanese like tinker toy made of metal but there's another name for this uh plastic that the bunny's made out of celluloid cellulite something like that cellulite might be the might be the like fat wrinkles i get on my butt <laughs> let's see celluloid yeah celluloid bunny sold for 7.92 plus shipping so not much but it is cool it's a little wind-up toy and it does work i believe yeah see that it's kind of cool did, it, did you think I was hypnotizing you? I wasn't. I know, it seemed like it, but I wasn't. I feel like I'm just on the edge of getting banned from everything. I'm on the edge of getting banned from TikTok, too. I don't know if you knew that, but, like, I posted a video of... <laughs> If you're new here, you may not know this, but I have a TikTok where I do videos and I don't do them very often because I don't really like TikTok. I don't even have it on my phone. I just upload them from my computer. But I had this TikTok that I made where I was at the thrift store in Vegas like a year ago. And a lot of you probably didn't see it, but I'm looking through clothes and I think Tina found it, my wife. There's a pair of pants they're selling with a giant poop stain. Like you can actually see the poop all over the back of the pants, right? And I was like, at the thrift store trying to find a profit going through and I was like don't buy these and I pointed at the poop and TikTok took it down because it was like uh, inappropriate content which by the way there's way more inappropriate content on TikTok than that but for some reason I got in trouble and then next in August I went and I bought a whole bunch of like really valuable knives at the Highway 127 sale and I was showing my buy and how much they were worth and they took that one down and said it was promoting dangerous weaponry or something like that it's just pocket knives right and so then they sent me a warning like if I I post another inappropriate thing I'm gonna get banned permanently from TikTok and so like now I might get banned on TikTok I might get banned on eBay I'm doing really well guys really well I sold this hat this is a uh Oh, beanie, right? Native eyewear is what it says. I don't know. I don't know what I paid for this, but it sold for $8, so someone liked it. It's a cute hat, but I don't really understand the, the reference. So also in the podcast, we talked about the Trash to Cash meetup. So the Trash to Cash is a podcast I'm in. It's got Kevin the Commonwealth Picker, Carrie, American Arbitrage, both YouTube channels, and then my own self, my own self, and my YouTube channels. And uh, we're doing a meetup in Vegas, April 21st and 22nd, where we're going to be there. We're going to have dinner with people. We're going to go to the Goodwill bins and all this stuff and we've released the ability to buy some tickets basically it just covers the cost of the big dinner we're doing at gordon beer which is like a big brewery in vegas that's a chain i think you probably have one in your town for all i know but we got like we signed up for a bunch of tables in a private area and a buffet and stuff like that and so there's a cost of the tickets it's 40 bucks that's just for the food and then beyond that a lot of us are staying at the mgm grand hotel and we're gonna just hang out at the casino hotel we're gonna go to the bins we're gonna go thrifting we're gonna potentially go yard sailing i don't really know how it's all gonna go down but it should be fun i'll put the link below if you want to come too and meet me kevin and a bunch of other resellers and of course carrie i guess you'll have to meet him because he'll be there he lives there uh, i sold this elvis pop also for my recent pop buy sold that for 17.59 plus shipping but yeah it should be fun i'm excited about it i think we've still got a decent amount of tickets left it's not yeah, it's definitely limited. Like, they only can hold so many people in this uh, private dining area. But we went out of our way to find somewhere with a pretty big capacity to where we thought maybe it wouldn't sell out. But maybe it will. Who knows? You never know. Kevin has a lot of pull. I don't know if anyone's going to come see me. Oh, this is cute. I can't believe it's so big. Giant sky plush. Hold on. Let me get Bullwinkle back in his cage there. But this giant sky plush with a backpack sold for $5. So not much at all. I would have thought it would be worth more, honestly. I don't know if this was a Cali thing or a me thing. 
Hmm, I'll have to ask her. We have five bucks plus shipping on that. Oh, and then we sold a bunch more Funko Pops. So these Funko Pops are moving. I did this Funko Pop buy and I, I told you in the last video, I'd paid 200 for all the Funko Pops and I was a little worried about my buy price. But after listing everything and seeing where it all landed, I'll definitely make a nice profit. And it also seems like it's selling pretty quickly. So that's always a good thing. I sold this vintage Mickey Mouse plush that I got on Whatnot for $8 plus shipping. I think I paid like $4, so this wasn't a great buy. There was someone who left a really lengthy comment about how I pay, pay too much for my buys. We went over that in the latest podcast, so if you wanna have a laugh, that's where you would wanna go and hear all about that. So whatever, I'm not the greatest reseller. I don't claim to be. You know, I don't claim to be a great reseller. Oh, this is a cool one. This is a Darth Vader Funko Pop, and it is number 539 and it sold for $13.59 I'll show it to you there it's kind of nice I like it when the inventory moves this quick two more Funko Pops went one is Tommy Pickles from Rugrats remember him and this is a Chase edition Chase if it says Chase it usually means it's a little more valuable because it's a uh, more limited run this Chase Tommy sold for $18.39 $18.39 and then there's a non-chase of Chucky, which is really adorable, and I kind of wanted to keep, but I, I said to myself, I said, Self, you have way too many action figures. You don't need to be keeping any more. List them, sell them, and be done with it. So this is Chucky. He's holding Reptar, and this is like my childhood in a nutshell. I watched this show all the time as a kid. Sold this one for $6.39 plus shipping. That's why I was tempted to keep it, because it's not worth that much, but it's really cool. Okay, and then I sold something out of FL31, I believe. You know, my daughter had a gymnastics meet this weekend, and she it was her first time ever, like, really kind of messing up uh, during an event. So she's super competitive. She gets that from her mom. I don't know that I'm that competitive. She's very competitive. I'm kind of in the middle competitive. And, uh... She, I guess she fell on the balance beam and she was very upset about it. And so I talked to her about it and it was, it was interesting because she's naturally very talented at gymnastics. And it was interesting to see how she handled losing. Like she was pretty upset about it. And I thought it was like kind of a cool learning opportunity for her. And it made me realize like there's actually a little bit of value in losing sometimes, right? Like it's going to teach her something for the future because you don't always win in life. And why am I sounding like a motivational speaker? <laughs> but I, I don't know. I was just thinking like in my life, there's been many times where I've lost and you kind of have to learn to lose. And I'm not sure. I guess what I'm getting to is I'm not sure that like people do learn to lose as well as they used to learn to lose, right? Like when I was a kid, you know, basically you would get the trophy and if your team didn't win, you wouldn't. But nowadays, a lot of times, like everyone gets a trophy, like a participation trophy and things like that. And so anyways, weird diatribe, but I thought it was good. In the end, she was OK with it. She definitely, definitely, I think, grew a little from this this issue, uh, from messing this up. And I think it was probably good for her. But I felt terrible for her as the father. Oh, I'll tell you what happened this morning, too. It was scary. This sold. This is uh, two little Minion McDonald's toys. Sold for $3.51. Not much. Went to a viewer named Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl, for the purchase. I appreciate it. That I got in, like, a big bag full of McDonald's toys that I paid a quarter for. So... <laughs> already well in the profit so today i'm working in my office my wife calls me she's like dave what are you doing and i'm like i'm working <laughs> i was working when you left why wouldn't i be working because she had went to pick up elijah because elijah had a stomach ache and thought he was going to throw up crazy morning right and so she calls me and she's like dave i'm picking up elijah oh man all my packages are still out here uh oh the mailman didn't come that's not good maybe i'll run to the post office after i record this and drop those off that's silly I, anyways, that's good I came out here, really. It's a nice night. Look, the sun's setting. Can you see that? The camera never picks up that. It doesn't have enough uh, dynamic range, <laughs> technical term, to actually capture all that. But it is pretty. You'll have to take my word for it. But this bike right here ended up having to be my emergency vehicle today because I was like, <laughs> Tina called me. She's like, Dave, there was cops going by me on my way to pick up Elijah. And I just got a message from the school that there was an incident on Cali's school bus and it's on, you know, whatever road, which was like, not that far away. It was like three blocks away, four blocks away. And she's like, can you go check on Kelly? And I was like, well, I don't have my car keys. My car keys are in your truck and you just left with them. And she's like, well, you gotta get down there and see what's going on. Speaking of ambulances and fire trucks and stuff like that. And so like, I, I didn't know what to do. So I just got on this little bike. <laughs> Hold on, let's go inside, they're loud. I got on that little bike 
and I just started booking it on that little little pink bike to find Callie's bus stop. And I'm just driving through the neighborhood and I'm not even like, I haven't ridden a bike in a long time. And so like, I almost got hit by a car because I wasn't really paying attention. But anyways, I got to the bus, I see the cops there at her bus. I see another bus, I see her bus. And I'm like, well, what the heck is going on? I roll up and of course, if you're a dad, like this is where your heart's like racing. Like why is there cops at the kid's bus stop? Why, what is the incident that happened? You know, all this stuff is running through your brain, right? Right? Well, I pull up next to the bus, and of course, I see Callie's little smiling face. She's like, hi, Dad. Hi. Like, she's very excited to see me on her little pink bike. <laughs> Elijah told me if I rolled up on his bus in that little pink bike, he would have killed me because it's super embarrassing. But Callie's eight. She thinks it's funny when I ride her little pink bike. Uh, but yeah, she was fine. And I'll tell you what happened. But first, let me show you this sale. It's not this Sylvester hat, which is adorable. That's an Anna item that back in there um it's this hat this is a new york mets hat i've had for two years i just got around to listing it last week and it sold for 6.79 i listed it low because i just didn't think it was worth that much i don't know maybe it was i mean it sold fast so maybe i listed it too low uh but yeah so basically i asked the cop what was going on and he said that someone when they were driving down the road in the bus the bus hit a truck's mirror and knocked it off that was driving by so basically a car accident, essentially. No one got hurt, but they had to file a police report and do all this other stuff. And so that, that bus driver had to stay there and take care of all that. So they had brought in another bus to take the kids to school. So I sat there and waited for Callie to get on the other bus and leave. And all was fine and I worried and fretted for nothing. I sold the CD, Leon Redbone, live and kicking. So many CDs sold today. That one sold for 12 bucks plus shipping, which isn't too bad. Additionally, I don't think Elijah ever threw up. It's possible he was faking. I wouldn't tell him that to his face that I think he could have been faking, but it's totally possible. <coughs> Hi, Callie. You know how it is in high school. Maybe we'll get Callie to tell you about her experience on the bus. Let me pull this order, though, out of the closet. Should be up here. One of these days, I'll sell some of these stupid shirts I bought from Rally Roots. <laughs> Talk about bad purchase decisions. It's not really Rally Roots' fault. Some of them I didn't even list. So this is a shirt I sold. This is a very cool, like, Mikey Bags of Money style shirt. If you ever watch him on YouTube, he wears these kind of shirts all the time. So yeah, this is a, a pretty cool shirt. I took a really low ball offer. I didn't think they expected it. I had it listed for 15, took an offer for seven. Didn't even hesitate, because whatever, it's close. All right, Callie Grace, what happened today? Tell me what in the world went on with your school bus. It crashed. It crashed. What did you do when it crashed? What did you say? Uh, I didn't even know it crashed. You didn't even know what happened. It just hit a mirror. You probably couldn't even feel it. It wasn't really a big bump or anything. Yeah. Was it, what did you do? How long were you sitting there waiting for the new bus? An hour? We, we got to school at like 10 or 12. Wow. What did you think when I rolled up on your bike? <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was funny? <laughs> did I'm you like, tell your friends? Did you say that's my bike? Yeah, I told Shay. Um, I thought you came to pick me up. I tried to. They said I couldn't take you. I was like, oh, can I just take her and I'll drive her to school? And they said, no, she has to get on the other bus. So did other kids get to get picked up? No, they, they did? Yeah, one. Oh, one kid. Yeah, I tried. They wouldn't let me take you, so... Yeah, those are all my sales. You like them? The Funko um, Pops? They're cute, Why right? is this a ball instead of the, the teddy bear? That's... I think that's why it's a chase. Callie noticed this right away. See how it's a teddy bear on the side, but he's holding a ball. So I think that's a, a unique item. It's a special edition. So, kind of cool. It's rare. It's ultra rare, basically, as you'd call it. Chunk so, person. anyways, that was Callie's story. A harrowing story. She got to school way late. Did you have a good day in the end? Nope. Nope. She doesn't like school. So, all right. Well, Mostly because I missed you. Oh, I miss you too, Callie. And the viewers missed you too. Right, guys? Any you miss Callie? Write down below how, how much you miss Callie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see, Callie. How much do you think I sold? I'm going to tell them the grand total. Did you finish? I finished. I just pulled my last one. What do you think? I don't know, a lot. $387.51. Shipping will probably be about $85. So basically a $300 day. Takeaway fees, which would be like 60 bucks. I don't know, I'm giving eBay more money than they're really taking in that scenario, but $250 probably in, in net income today. And profit, I don't know, less profit. Why are we putting a box in my head? <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.